What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I will be reviewing yet another collaboration beer, this time between Hot Butcher for the World out of Chicago, Illinois, and Bottle Logic Brewing out of Anaheim, California, and this is their relicensed nuclear accelerator. So they're calling this an American IPA that comes in at 7% alcohol by volume. No IBUs this in time of review. This can is approximately five weeks old. I want to give a huge thanks and shout out once again to a very good friend of mine and a viewer of the channel, Jeff, aka No Jinx, for hooking me up with this one. I'll post a link in the description box to the beer metal boxing video I did that contains all the goodies Jeff sent my way. He sent me two Hot Butcher beers. Never had anything from Hop Butcher. I have heard great things. I reviewed their Jump the Shadow. Damn tasty. Had several hops in it and it was creamy coconut milk and fantastic. And this one sounds pretty good. Uh, I did not know it was a collaboration until I saw the little bottle uh, Logic Brewing logo here on the can. I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, this one is brewed with Galaxy, Chinook, and Nelson Sullivan hops. And uh, yeah, not much more to say about it. They have tasting notes on the back, but like they just show a hop cone and be like, oh, it's this and that. So we'll see. We'll see uh, how this one lands for me. But uh, yeah, first experience with Hop Butcher, Jump the Shadow, damn good beer. Hopefully this is much of the same. So let's get a pour here. Yeah, so this is looking very similar to the uh, Jump the Shadow. Um, this has, you know, a darker, I, I compare it a little bit to other half, some of their darker honey orange colored um, New England style IPAs. This is a bit darker than those actually. This is more like straight up orange. Uh, yeah, this is just a deep, deep orange color, very dirty orange color. Look, uh, it looks like you know proper New England style IPA, just albeit a bit darker. It has about a two finger of this off white, creamy colored looking head, very murky and turbid. Yeah, plays the role. Let's get a nose. Ooh, you know what this has given me? This has given me a little bit of uh, equilibrium vibes. <sighs> yeah, it has like an acidic orange juice kind of kick to it. I don't know if that is a uh, shout out to Matt over at Massive Beer Reviews. I don't know if that's the water nerd treatment or, you know, maybe something with the malt, the yeast, whatever. But getting like an acidic orange in this one. <sighs> getting a malt base here, kind of a bready, almost honey drizzled kind of uh, malt base here. But yeah, acidic orange. A little bit of like an underlying like pine resin type of thing they're using chinook which is interesting second hop and uh you know it's like an old school hop and uh yeah getting a little bit of like a resinous pine kick to it <sighs> maybe um like a mango like a peppery mango too yeah mango a little bit of like uh, ripened papaya honeydew melon i just did another beer a couple days ago uh, i don't know when it's gonna be posted from odd 13 and that was a triple ipa and it had like over-ripened papaya and honeydew, and it was just, this is very reminiscent to that one. Yeah, oh man, it smells sweet, but not crazy sweet. It's a little bit of like an underlying herbaceousness too. Yeah, it smells pretty good. Let's get into it. Cheers everybody. Thanks again, Jeff. Yeah, it's nice. Nice beer. Body, for 7%, this is like medium, a little bit over medium. Very nice body. Mouthfeel, soft, smooth, slightly creamy. Definitely in the New England you know, realm. Or the hazy realm. Yeah, the mouthfeel is nice. The taste, this is actually reminding me of um, another beer that I had recently. You know, they're all starting to, not run together, but like, since they're so fresh in my mind, it was a double dry hop Dunley Place from Aslan, where this is a really nice drinking IPA. But right up front, that acidic orange juice, like a grapefruit zest, there, a big citrus pun, uh, punch up front. And that's right on top of a really nice, like, honey drizzled bread kind of malt base. Pass through the palate, the, um, you know, the ripened papaya, little honeydew hits mid palate. But then as it starts transitioning into the finish, a pine resin kicks in, like an actual pine resin, like bitterness, a little bit of grassiness. And it finishes with a moderate bitterness. Um, very slight residual sweetness and a uh, slightly to semi-dry finish. This is one of those new school meets old school type of beers where that pine resin and the Chinook is giving me an old school West Coast IPA vibe where the, the, the mouthfeel and like that fruity sensation is giving me more of like a New England style new school vibe. Um, also, the citrus, like getting a little bit of like that grapefruit zest and that acidic orange kind of, again, old school West Coast vibe. This is definitely a hybrid in my mind. Yeah, it's just a, 
it's just a very easygoing IPA. Like 7%, really can't tell you 7%. Yeah, I mean, I, it, how much this reminds me of Double Dry Hop Dunley Place from a, not not a flavor aspect, just like from an enjoyable aspect. Like the enjoyability of this one is a bit bigger than I would typically associate with flavors like this because it drinks so easily, the mouth feels fantastic, and it's not overly complex. What's here is nice, but it's not overdone. It's not too much. It's not like a, a beer that I need to contemplate as I drink it. Just a beer that I'm kind of, dare I say, quaffing. A very quaffable beer. Very easy to drink. Yeah, just not, you know, just not like mind-blowing, but it doesn't need to be. This is this is a beer that I would like to have in my fridge for a drinking beer. That's kind of where this one lands for me. Not much more to say about it. So Hot Butcher and Bottle Logic, their relicensed uh, nuclear accelerator. I'm going to give it a straight four out of five. I think it, that's kind of where it lands for me. Uh, it's just, it's kind of one of those old school high, uh, hybrid beers. Um, you know, I've drank a lot of those recently between the Moonraker and the Monkish beers and whatnot that were sent to me by another good friend of mine and viewer of the channel, Bud. Um, that's kind of where this one lands. It's just a marriage of both of the styles, the West Coast IPA and the New England style IPA. Um, the only thing with this one is that I don't think it's, I don't think it's landing as uh, good as those beers for me as landing as well, but I do like it. I do like it quite a bit, and it's a very easy drinking beer. I do like that this has like a straight on moderate bitterness in that pine resin thing because I don't drink many beers that have those nowadays, unless, you know, like I grab a Lagunitas off the shelf or one of Stone's newest releases or whatever. I really don't get that pine resin, like, you know, just gripping you uh, from the, the, the bitterness kind of thing going on here. So I do appreciate this one. So four out of five for Hot Butcher Bottle Logic, their uh, relicensed nuclear accelerator. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. Thanks again, Jeff, sending it my way. Price and availability, I have no idea. Not even a guess this time. Half the time I go, I have no idea of the availability or the or the uh, price point on this one, blah, blah, blah. And then I guess for like a half a minute. Not going to do it this time. I have no idea. So, Jeff, you want to chime in what you paid for this one. And if you get Hot Butcher in your area, that's cool. If anybody else knows the availability of Hot Butcher, let me know. Or the price point, I would really appreciate it. So, once again, thanks to Jeff for hooking me up. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. To the next one. Cheers. Oh, yeah. I think I said 7%. Yeah, it drinks like a 7% IPA. Kind of in this day and age, if it's uh, over 7% and uh, you can, or under 7%, you can tell the alcohol, then uh, I don't want to say it's problematic, but it's kind of, you know, it's, it's, it's very rare. It's a rarity. This one, yeah, can't really tell there's alcohol in here, and that's fine by me. So, cheers.